Northwest Indiana Fencing Club is primarily a recreational fencing club. Uh, we are an all-volunteer group, meaning that like myself and all of the other coaches uh, are all volunteers. Every penny we get at the club goes into expenses. We have some of the nicest equipment uh, that you'll see at any fencing club. We're here just to kind of keep the sport low in cost, make it an easy entry, and then we try to support the members that we have that move on to competitions. Uh, we have quite a few of our high school kids that compete in the Great Lakes High School Fencing Conference. We have several that have gone on into college and or are going on uh, into Division I and Division III uh, athletics. So it's kind of why we're here, just basically to have fun. So in fencing, there are three different blades that we use, three different weapons. Saber fencing, which is a slashing blade. Foil, which is a point weapon. And epe, which is a point weapon. Northwest Indiana Fencing Club started out primarily as a saber club. Saber is a slashing weapon. And if you kind of think of like a cavalry soldier cutting with his blade, that's what Sabre does. We, we cut at our opponent. Our beginning class is typically a Sabre class. Uh, the reason we use Sabre as our beginner course is primarily the history of the club. The coaches, I think we have a higher, higher number of Sabre coaches at the club. Uh, so we simply use that as our introductory class. Foil is I think kind of the regal weapon, it goes back to the, the king's court and you know, the very gentlemanly uh, type of thing or defending your woman's honor type of a thing. And so it's a delicate, very whippy blade weapon with a little button on the end of it. And you're basically fencing for first blood if you were back in the king's court. Uh, here you're fencing for a little red light or a green light on our scoring box. Epe is a heavier weapon, and I kind of think of the Three Musketeers, sort of the, the kind of heavy blade. Again, it's got a button on the end, so it, it only scores with the tip of that, uh, that blade. With all three weapons, Epe, Foil, and Saber, you, you fence up to five. With Saber fencing, an entire five-touch uh, bout, I, I've seen them take literally 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, on the on guard line, the director gives them their, their instructions to start and quite often it's, it's a matter of one or two seconds. Uh, it, it's been said that the only thing faster in the Olympic Games than Sabre is the 22 caliber bullet used in the pentathlon. I think all the fencing clubs that I'm familiar with are actually very supportive. I, I am familiar with several other clubs and it seems like everybody actually is trying to lift everybody else up, either in their club or even in between other clubs. Because we're primarily a recreational club, it's supporting competitive fencers. But you've got beginners, they may very well be on one of our strips and the competitive fencers may very well be on another one of our strips so that the competitive members aren't beating up the beginners. You will see, however, the, the, the competitive members will give a lot of their time to the beginners. And so they will go over and they will help beginners. I think it really helps our beginners and our, our recreational fencers to have the competitive fencers here, uh, largely by bloodying them on the strip. I love teaching. Uh, I love the kids, I love the adults, and I work with any age group. Um, I just enjoy teaching people the new sport, and my goal is to get that one person to love the sport. And, and if they walk away from here just enjoying fencing, I don't care if they go on to Division I or if they're you know, geriatric, it makes no difference to me. I just wanna see them leave with a smile on their face.